The biggest complaint about the new 2016 MacBook Pro was aimed squarely at Apple's choice of ports for it. Only two or four USB-C Thunderbolt 3 ports depending on model. Nevertheless, instead of replacing cables or getting adapters, a smoother and cleaner choice is available thanks to CalDigit, the TS3 Lite. The $200 CalDigit Thunderbolt Station 3 Lite is a Thunderbolt 3 dock geared towards 2016 MacBook Pro users. Unlike some of the docks released prior to the most recent MacBook Pro refresh, the TS3 Lite works out of the box without needing to employ any other hacks or workarounds. Just over an inch tall and slightly under a pound in weight, at roughly 9 inches by 3 inches the dock is a fairly compact piece of hardware that won't take up too much room on your desk. Featuring an aluminum wrapped outer layer, the TS3 Lite's midsection is made up of a darker plastic. It's a good looking design that complements a Mac setup rather well. An LED status indicator is embedded in the front panel and I appreciate that the dark blue light isn't so large or so bright that it becomes a needless distraction. On the bottom of the dock you'll find four rubber feet in each corner to assist with keeping the unit firmly planted on your desk. The top of the dock is finished with a modest CalDigit logo and not much else. All in all it's a rather neat design. Finishing off the front panel is a USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-C and a single Type-A port, probably two of the more common used ports around so it makes perfect sense. Nevertheless around the rear we find a single gigabit ethernet port, a USB 3.1 Type-A port, microphone and headphone jacks, two Thunderbolt 3 ports for which you can daisy chain devices, a full size display port and finally the unit's power port. Talking of power included is a rather substantial power brick almost the size of the dock itself. Bear in mind that the dock does not provide charging power to a MacBook Pro, nor is it claimed by the manufacturer. However, 15 watts of power is supplied to connected devices, including the computer if there are no other sources of power connected. Although note that by not including full power delivery, it seems that CalDigit is able to offer the TS3 Lite at a cheaper price than its full-fledged $300 Thunderbolt 3 dock version. So if you want to power your MacBook as well, the full Thunderbolt 3 dock is what you need. Even so, for a so-called light dock, that's a good helping of ports, but I would have liked to have seen an SD card slot on the front panel, something that would have been particularly helpful given the 2016 MacBook Pro's port situation. Also, because the dock lacks a standard HDMI output, you'll need to use a display port to HDMI adapter for standard HDMI monitors, and although that's relatively inexpensive, it's still an additional adapter, something we're trying to move away from. The driver-free dock works perfectly from a basic functionality standpoint both in Mac OS and in a bootcamp installation of Windows 10. Mass storage devices, input devices and output devices all work perfectly well, just like they were natively plugged into the host computer. No issues with connectivity at all. Ethernet was solid too and I had no dropouts or ill effects. As a side note, the 6 amp AC power adapter is quite large and gets quite warm. Not enough to burn skin, but uncomfortable to the touch after only around 20 minutes of use. So you'll want to keep it in an open space if you can. On the plus side, the TS3 Lite does support the UASP protocol, and as such, the faster transport speeds associated with it when using supported devices. And if you haven't picked up a newer MacBook yet, you can use the dock with a Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 adapter, and it'll work for most devices just fine allowing you to future-proof your current Mac a little. The CalDigit TS3 Lite dock does what it says on the box and returns legacy ports back to users. The USB 3 implementation passes UASP to connected devices allowing for the best data transfer speeds. The Gigabit Ethernet port is in fact Gigabit and the pass-through Thunderbolt 3 port is perfectly fine for other devices. Although it doesn't pass power through to your MacBook computer, at $200 it's probably the cheapest Thunderbolt 3 dock I've come across. With good performance and a design to match, if you're after a docking solution this is certainly high on the recommended list.